Welcome to this video. My name is Stefanie Juchmes and today I would like to introduce you to the topic barcodes in FileMaker. We encounter many of different barcodes every day, whether it's on a package, a poster or on the products in the supermarket. Barcodes are essential, especially in the logistic industry. Since June 30, 2020, QR codes, invoices has been used in payment transactions in Switzerland. Also here the possibility to read and generate Swiss QR codes is important. In this video I show you how to create and read barcodes with FileMaker. Let's start with reading barcodes. For FileMaker Go there is the possibility to scan any barcode into a container field. To do this, go to the container field in which the barcode should be inserted. Then click on barcode and our barcode is scanned. In the container field we now have the image taken by the camera. If we want the decoded text, we can insert it into a text field. And here we have the content of the barcode. If you only want to scan some special barcode types, you need the script step insert from device. In this script step, we first select in which field our result should be written. The field type of our result is important. If we write the result into a container field, we get the image of the captured barcode as container value. If our selected field is a text field, we get the decoded text. We have two scripts to show this. At first the barcode and in a second script The text field. Then we set barcode and that opens a dialog where we can specify more details about scanning the barcode. We can define the input source of the barcode. We have the choice between the camera and the field. For the camera we can specify if the barcode should be captured with the front camera or the back camera. If the option field is selected, we can read the barcode from an image in the container field. For example, you can also read barcodes from captured images. Besides the input device, we can also specify the types of barcodes for which scanning should be possible. The scanning of the barcode works as fast as the direct insertion in the container field. Now if I have several barcodes next to each other, this can become a challenge, because I don't have enough time to target the desired barcode correctly. For this case, we could first capture an image with the insert from device script step and then read the barcode on the image from the field with another insert from device script step. Of course, we want to have a look at these possibilities in FileMaker Go. Let's call first the normal scanning of a barcode. At first, insert device from a container and now from a text field. And we see the result is correct. 
Now we go to the other layout where we insert the barcode with a photo. So we click the button. At first we take the photo. We can zoom it and adjust it how we want. Take the photo, use the photo. And then we have our content hello world. Next. The just shown techniques works only under FileMaker Go. If you want to enable the reading of barcodes also under FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Pro at once, you need external help like the MBS FileMaker plugin. The MBS FileMaker plugin offers you some possibilities to read and write barcodes. So you can read the barcode from an image with the plugin function barcode detect. In the parameters we first specify where we can find the image. In our case we specify the container barcode. In the second parameter, we can restrict which barcode types can be read. In this case, we don't want to limit this and set it to all. The other parameters are optional. We can specify whether the type of the barcode should be output as a prefix. If we want to have the type as a prefix, we write 1, otherwise 0. In our case, 0. In the next parameter, we specify which orientation the scanned barcode has. It can be read with the setting even if it has been rotated by 90 degree. But in our case we don't need that. In the last parameter you can define the type of encoding. I prefer some pictures with barcodes, for example a QR code, we can read it and the content is hello world, then a PDF 417 barcode which the content hello world just attest 123 and UPCA barcode with this number and a code 39. You can use this function on Mac and Windows, on the server and even in iOS SDK. For example, you can extract QR codes that are part of a PDF invoice and process them in FileMaker. It is advisable to have a free space around the scanned barcode and pay attention to a good resolution to simplify the scanning. As an Apple user, you can even directly read different barcodes on one image by using the function Vision Detect Barcode. And here we have an image with a lot of different barcodes. We get a JSON with the information about each barcode. We have the symbology, the confidence, the UUID, and the value. The MBS FileMaker plugin can also help to generate barcodes. 
you can use over 90 different barcode types for the creation of barcodes. The barcode generate JSON function offers you many options for setting your barcode. You pass a JSON with settings over various keys. So you can determine, for example, the size, the quality, the type, the content, and the color of the barcode and its background. With additional options of the MBS FileMaker plugin, you can then, for example, place a company logo or the Swiss cross for the Swiss QR code on the QR code. And in our example, we have a blue QR code. FileMaker 19 offers you internally a possibility to generate barcodes with the help of the new add-ons. Add-ons are FileMaker components that can be simply drag and drop into a layout. The corresponding tables and scripts are then imported into your project. The add-ons work with web viewers. This does not mean that you need an internet connection to use them, because you get the information locally from fields. I would like to show you the use of the barcode add-ons now. To do this, we open a FileMaker 19 project. We need the two fields, content and barcode. Barcode is a container field and content is a text field. But the fields we don't insert into our layout now because I want to show you something. Now we want to add the add-on barcode on our solution. For this we go into the layout mode. And here to the sidebar on the tab Add-ons. Here we have not added an add-on yet. We want to change that. We click on the plus to add one. In this menu we can now select which add-on we want to add to our solution. In our case the barcode add-on. I click on it and choose it. Now I can drag and drop it anywhere. I leave the layout mode and can now set the barcode generation options with a click on the gear button. We see the configuration and we see that we cannot fill the required fields. This is because the two fields we want to specify are not in the layout. We insert them now. If we return again to the configuration, we can select the fields. Here we need a text field. And so we can only choose content and here we need a container field so we can only choose barcode. Let's have a look at the further settings in the configuration. Here we can choose the barcode type we want to generate. Not every content can be combined with any barcode type and we have to follow the rules of each barcode type. Otherwise, we get an error message when we try to generate the barcode. Furthermore, we can specify the line color of the barcode by entering the color as a hexadecimal number. For example, red. Here we can also select if the coded text should be displayed additionally under the barcode. Then we come to the optional settings. 
Here we can hide the button for a barcode generation and select a color of a box behind this button. The button for configuration remains visible as long as the account has full access rights. If the user has limited rights, the button will not be displayed. If we now click on save, we can generate our first barcode. I now want to select another type of barcode, for example, EM8. And here we see, if we don't follow the barcode requirements, we will see an error message. And we can adjust our input. I hope you enjoy our little trip into the world of barcodes and FileMaker. If you have any questions about this topic or the MBS FileMaker plugin, please feel free to contact me. Maybe we will meet at one of the next FileMaker conferences. Thank you for watching.